Hi Yogi's Curling Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're doing a respawn your legs flow. So after long periods of sitting, whether it's gaming or working or whatever the case may be, uh, it's good to get some movement back in your legs. So we'll do a little bit of movement, a little bit of stretching and get some energy and life back into um, kind of that stagnant that we get when we sit for long periods of time. So to start, we'll come to a standing position and we're gonna really start thinking about grounding into the earth with our feet as we start doing this movement. So you're gonna start just stepping kind of back and forth. And you wanna really think about grounding into the earth with your foot and lifting that energy back in and up through your legs. So just kind of a gentle stepping, you can get some movement into it with your spine and arms if you're feeling it, or even just a simple, you know, kind of marching or stepping back and forth whatever you're feeling today, whatever your body wants. But again, think about grounding into the earth with your foot, lifting that energy all the way up your leg to create the movement. And don't walk out your knees and do this. That's not gonna help. You wanna really bend your knees and get into the momentum and into good physics. So really using the bent uh, knee to our advantage here. I'm just starting to kind of walk off some of that sitting. I said, hey, you can put some music on if you want, get a little, little dance motion into it. I mean, even just simple movement like this will help combat some of the stuff that we get from when we sit too long. Just getting the blood flowing, getting movement into our spine a little bit, and getting movement and action into our legs instead of just sitting like this for long periods of time or like this or whatever the case is. So we're moving, we're moving and grooving maybe, and starting to think about activating your mula bandha breath. So as you do that, you're gonna inhale, think about breathing in a 360 direction and filling your low belly in all directions. And as you exhale, squeeze the air in and out. So you're gonna exhale through your nose, big exhale. As we're doing this movement, a couple more breaths here. Really lifting in and up away from the earth. Inhaling full belly. Exhale, squeeze it in and out. Exhaling through your nose. Now just come to a little gentler walk. Kind of a rock side to side. Settle into an uh, even balanced mountain pose. Really ground it to the earth now with both feet. Lift in and up, all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms. Big stretch, like a big morning stretch. And exhale, you're gonna fold or fold over and bend your knees really deep, coming to a forward fold and finding that first edge of stretch in your legs. So of course we were getting a little bit of movement in our legs, they're probably not super warm, so don't need to worry about stretching the legs really straight. We're just folding over, keeping that mula of under breath, even when we're in this fold, so think about breathing in that 360 direction, again, filling your low belly, and as you exhale, squeezing the air in and up, in and out, exhaling through your nose. And from here, you can plant your fingertips and just start walking your feet back and forth. So your feet are grounded into the earth, but you're bending one knee and then the other, straightening the opposite leg. Even start getting your shoulders into it, twisting towards the leg that's a bit straighter. That's how we're gonna start getting some of the stretch into our legs. And back to that forward fold. Maybe that edge of stretch has moved a little bit deeper. Wave the spine long. Now from here, bend your knees really deep, firmly planting your feet into the earth, lifting in and up, lifting up from your arches, up from your shins, coming back into stand. Inhale here and exhale. Hands come to heart center and namaste. We're gonna take our movement a little bit wider now. So stepping your feet out wide to a comfortable position, knees and ankles, or uh, knees and toes, excuse me, are in line. So when we bend our knees, they're facing the same direction. We don't want our knees twerking one way or the other. It's not great for your knees. And from here, we're just gonna start a gentle side to side. Now. You don't have to worry about bending your knee really far. Maybe you're just up here. Maybe your legs are close and you're doing something like this. Wherever you are is awesome. Really the goal here is a little bit of movement, a little bit of stretch. We don't have to go crazy or anything like that. 
you know, we're wanting to activate some of the energy in our legs and, and keep it moving and flowing instead of stagnant and sitting. So whatever your level is, whatever you're doing today, it can vary from day to day. That's where you, that's where you're at. And it's amazing. So just going side to side, still think about grinding to the earth with your feet though. We do want strong foundation lifting up from your arches all the way up your legs. And when you're doing this, try and keep your center still. So you're not sinking into one hip or anything weird. You really want your hips and shoulders stacked. We're just moving our legs and our torso is just moving with it. We're not trying to add extra movement at the moment with our torso, just flowing with the legs. If you are feeling really flexible and you do want to take this further, you can start to add some movement now, maybe bringing your uh, elbow or shoulder towards your foot. Again, nothing too crazy. And if you're feeling really warm there and you're like, hey, this is easy, let's take it deeper and start bringing fingers, or if you want to get real wild, forearm to the ground, getting deeper into those thighs. And if that feels really good to you, you can even forearm to the ground and right arm can extend to the sky. Now you're really stretching your leg. So this is a bit more of a um, hold if you're going to do this. And then you can switch sides and you can build up to this starting to warm up your inner thighs. From here, even you can stay low, keep your hands on the earth and do some lower ninja lunges. The great thing about this being your yoga practice is you can do whatever move you want. So <laughs> take these moves as inspiration, modify as you need, take the ones you like. And then if you want, you can start building up to coming to that ninja lunge on one side with forearm on the earth and the other hand reaching tall and switch and wherever you are come to center bend both knees fingertips can be on the earth you can be still standing again wherever you are just slight bend in the knees as you roll up inhale tall here now wherever you are face your feet forward so we're keeping it to, uh, toes and knees in line again. And exhale, slight bending the knees as you fold forward and then come to that first edge of stretch. Long spine. You can be up here if that's where your edge of stretch is. You can even just fold over a little. So find that first edge of stretch in this wide leg forward fold and then you can wave back and forth starting to get a bit deeper into each of your legs. When you're ready, come back to center. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up. Now that we've got some movement and stretch in our legs, we're going to take the stretching a bit deeper. So make your way to a seated position. And just reach your feet out in front of you, scoot your sits bones back, sit up tall, heels firmly planted into the earth, and just take a moment to just sit. And this could be as far as you fold in your seated position. So you can come back to here whenever you want. We're going to start with the Janus Yursasana. So take your left foot, place it to the inside of your right leg, um, not on the knee, above the knee is best. Maybe you're not that flexible, so you can find a modified position, even just bending your knee up like that, letting it start to fall open. Wherever you need to hang out today, again, we're trying to get rid of the stagnant energy that comes from sitting. So that's the focus, not necessarily how flexible can you be, because everyone's flexibility on the spectrum is different. So find where you're at, and then again, make sure you've got room in your sits bones. Start with the long spine and then fold yourself forward. Just start walking forward, just to that first edge of stretch. You can even keep a bend in your right knee. And then from here, you're gonna take your right hand to the inside of your right leg. You can stay up here.
here, you can come onto your forearm and you're gonna open your chest to your left knee. So starting to get a nice side body stretch, getting into our quadratus lumborum. You can rotate your arm around your back, reach it above your ear. Yogi's choice, just finding a comfortable stretch, getting into your legs, but also stretching out our spine, getting movement there as well. And after you've held that for a couple of breaths, remembering our move of under breath, come back to center, lift yourself tall. Now take your left knee or foot and put it on the outside of the right leg. You do want to keep your knee up this time. We'll do a spinal twist the other way. So right arm reaches up. You're going to twist and hook your right arm on the outer left knee. When you're doing that, careful not to yank your twist. You're really trying to amplify the stretch on your leg when you're gripping with your arm. The twist, you should be able to do without your arm. The twist is coming from your core, from your spinal muscles, and then this is adding that bit of stretch onto the leg. And just looking over your left shoulder, if that feels good, complete the twist through your whole spine. Getting a stretch in our legs while we're doing this twist. Multitasking. Exhale back to center. You can windshield wiper your feet here. Take that forward fold. Again, now starting with tall spine. Start with your fingertips behind you. Start to lean yourself forward and start with bent knees. Then you can start making your way forward and start bringing your knees closer to the earth as you find where your edge of stretch is and as you work on that flexibility. Just hanging out wherever you are today. And come back to center and try the sequence on the other side. So right foot now comes to the inside of your left leg. Again, wherever was comfortable for you might be different on each side. So be open to that and just let it happen. And then coming forward to your forward fold on this side. And then from here, left hand, left arm, somewhere to the inside of your left foot so that you can twist long spine still, but heart and chest is opening to your right, to your right knee right arm you can find what's comfortable for you. I like to rotate my palm, wrap it around. I find that really helps to open up my shoulders. Also stretch it over your ear if you want a bit more of a side body stretch. And as you're doing these, think about keeping your toes on your left foot, the extended foot, facing the ceiling. You don't want it to start sinking open or, or folding in. Then you start twerking your joints and we don't want any of that. Wherever you are here, come back to your center fold, sit yourself up tall, right foot now plants to the outside of the left leg, sitting up tall, twisting first, so the twist comes from our uh, spine and core strength, and then hooking your left elbow around your right knee so you can get a better stretch in the outer right hip. But you should be able to let go with your arms and still hold the twist. You shouldn't yank back or fall back. This right hand can press against the earth to help you sit taller. Again, the twist doesn't come from the arms. Remembering to use your mula on the breath even when we're twisting. And come back to center, extending both feet, windshield wiper your legs here again. We'll take that forward fold one last time here. So bent knees, fingertips behind you, wave your spine long, then walk yourself forward to that first edge of stretch. Again, maybe it's moved now that we've stretched out our legs a little. And then from there you can start extending the legs and the knees straighter. Waving long wherever you are on the spectrum. If it feels good to you, you can even hook the bottoms of your feet and pull your toes towards you, stretching the bottom of your feet a little bit more as well as getting into your calf muscles. And maybe 
making your way back up to sit. Now from here, plant bottoms of your feet together. We'll kind of fold open, almost like a book, and let your knees just fall open here. Uh, feet can be really close to you, they can be farther out. Just find a comfortable position, ground into the earth with your sits bones, sit up tall, and just lean yourself forward, starting to stretch your inner thighs a bit more, getting into the groin. Again, finding somewhere that's comfortable for you. You can even start waving back and forth if that feels good. Your body likes kind of this subtle movement, kind of seduces it into stretching more. <laughs> Instead of just going <laughs> right down into it, doesn't like that so much. So this waving motion kind of helps tell your body to open up and to take the stretch a bit deeper. You can continue to stay here in this butterfly or goddess position. If you want to take it a bit deeper, you can come into a wide leg forward fold, so seated, kind of like how we were doing standing, but open your legs as wide as is comfortable long spine, walk yourself forward, and same thing, you can wave back and forth, getting energy flowing back into your legs, not necessarily worrying about <laughs> to the earth, we want long spine, and gently letting our body open into the fold. Here, wave your spine long. Exhale, you can take some waves and gently open your body to the center that way if it feels good. Whenever you're ready, come back up to center. Bring your legs together. We'll come onto our backs. And hug your knees into your chest for just a moment. Then plant your feet here and start to windshield wiper your knees now. Great spinal twist, great massage for your asana. Great stretch for the legs, releases tension in your low back. So all around an awesome thing to do. Now from here, I want you to take kind of a yogi's choice moment. So finding some last minute stretches for your legs, you can take ankle to knee and hug one knee into the chest if that feels good, get into your hips a bit more. I even like to twist this sometimes depending where I'm feeling tension, starting to open up more into the glutes. Of course, if you do one side, you wanna make sure that you tackle it on the other. I'm just gonna give you some ideas here, things that you can use kind of whenever you're sitting, as well as in this flow. Another great option is taking a deeper spinal twist, so you'll scoot your hips to the right as you cross one leg over the other and let your knees drop to one side. If you're feeling really flexible, you can even try and catch the bottom foot with your right arm and pull it your foot a little bit deeper closer to your glutes that'll help you get into the quad on the left leg if that is not accessible though you can always just come onto your side support your head with your arm but when you do it this way you'll actually catch the the top leg so the right leg kind of like how you would do if you were standing it's great to not neglect our big our big muscles so of course we got into the hamstrings a lot but we don't want to ignore our quads because we use those uh, a lot as well and they can definitely benefit from being opened and stretched after sitting and twisting like this is a great way to open up your spine um, it helps release tension of course in your low back as well and tension in your low back can cause tension in your hamstrings and vice versa so if you're feeling tightness in your back probably need to stretch out your legs. <laughs> so really good to do that. Again, from here, you can try catching the bottom leg if you're in the twist. So 
So left hand would catch right leg, and you just gently pull your foot towards you to get into the front of your leg. Again, just finding that first edge of stretch. Or if it's easier, coming onto your side and catching the top foot, so the left foot on this side. You can even take kind of a forward fold in this reclined position. So starting with bent knees, of course, you can hold on to the backs of your legs, you can hold on to your toes, whatever's easiest. I like to sometimes too come into the butterfly and kind of rock back and forth here. So Yogi's Choice, take whatever last minute stretches you want for your legs, really getting that energy, that life force energy moving through your legs before you go back to sitting. Then take a couple of breaths here in Shavasana to let your body settle into this new neutral, let all of your fascia kind of readjust to all that energy that you just let loose into your legs. So don't, don't go immediately back into sitting. Take a couple of minutes to let all of this you know, settle into your body so that when you go back to sitting, you get more of the benefit. So hopefully you enjoyed that flow. I really hope you can use some of those techniques and stretches, even when you're just on the couch and you start to notice that you're starting to get a little stiff. You don't necessarily have to get up and do a 20 minute yoga practice. You can take a couple of minutes, do a quick stretch here or there, make sure that you're not getting that stagnant energy and getting really stiff and tight. Just get a little bit of energy flowing. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I hope it helps. Definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again here soon. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel get notifications when the new videos go up and sign up for the League of Nerd Yogi's email list because I have exclusive content for you there. Namaste.